Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take this Wobbler and upgrade him into Iron Man. We are on a run of superhero characters, including Venom, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Wolverine. So I thought we'd make our favorite little flying metal man made of iron called Iron Man. I'm so dumb. First things first, we need to jump onto the clothes and I have the perfect piece of clothing. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I was browsing through all of these face pieces and I saw one that gave me the inspiration to make this Iron Man. This mask right here is perfect for Iron Man, especially when you take it and then you, uh, you color it and you color it gold because Iron Man is gold, just like that fan freaking tastic let me just make an epic just make that go perfect this is the beginnings of our iron man now iron man does the whole spider-man superhero thing where you can't actually see the eyes behind the mask because of the, the white light behind it how does iron man pull it off so is it possible to take the the goggles was it the war goggles the, the these ones here oh you can you can get them behind the mask that is perfect just zoom in and appreciate just how amazing this is going to be take that you take the green, you color it white. You take the gray, you color it white. You take the other gray, you color it white. And it is just perfection. Look at that. The Iron Man white behind the glasses, behind the mask. Perfect. But the problem is the rest of his head's supposed to be red. So how do I how do I make the back of his head red? Then again, how do I make his body red? I have lots of questions. Body armor. The dude needs body armor, like just thick, powerful body armor and no cape. Iron Man doesn't wear a cape. Let's go down to that military body armor section. This section right here, if I take these, ooh, ooh, that really gives me the whole like frontal plate kind of vibe that he goes with. I'm just gonna make all this a lovely red for now. And I know that he has gold accents. So we're gonna work on those gold accents later. Actually, these shoulder bits, does the shoulder bits go red or the shoulder bits do we make those gold iron man gold we're gonna go with that for now just a little bit of gold accents to our iron man chest plate i think he's going to need the spandex underneath just to make oh the hood ooh 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 because that covers the back a little bit that will help with the whole all red look take this make sure everything is a nice red so that will help with like the underneath in case anything pokes out and you can see flesh you don't want to see flesh he's covered in plate mail is there anything else on the head that i can wear to mask ha, i get it he's wearing a mask to mask this this rear section to make sure that no one can see him a hood would a hood work would that look too like soft yeah see these hoods no nah. no nah, not good enough i basically need a helmet I need a really, really good helmet. Well, I've been through every single headpiece and I can't seem to find the exact perfect helmet to cover up these straps. So I need to make a decision. Do I rock with the red straps or do I rock with the gold straps? From the front, the gold straps look great. From the back, the gold straps don't look so hot. I think we can go with the red straps. That makes the most sense to me. Let's keep armoring up our lovely Iron Man. Mm, plate legs. I mean, don't have a whole lot of leg options when it comes to armor, to be honest. Don't forget the gold accents. Gotta have those gold accents. Medieval shoulder pads. Make those a lovely red. A little bit of gold accents. Just like that. Fantastic. Our Iron Man's coming along. He looks so good. He looks so good. Ooh, these arm plates are fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Where are those little willy, willy, nelm, helm, willy gloves? Where they go? You know, the gloves I've used a million times. There they are. Color those a beautiful red. Perfect. Oh, boots. He needs boots. He needs to his feet are exposed. Oh, yes. The medieval calf boots. The full plate boots. Oh, my God, guys. Iron Man is legit. This Iron Man is so good. Oh, dude. Oh, he looks so good. Now, his waist around his, his his butt and stuff is a little bit vacant. Can we put something there to add to the, 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 the bulky kind of metal feel? Can I protect his booty with a metal plate? Ooh, I could add a layer of medieval armor to it. What if I go with the medieval vest? We color that red. That gives him a little extra bulk in the chest, which is fantastic. Does he need more in the shoulders? Does he need more in the... I don't think he does, to be honest. I think this set of shoulder pads has been fantastic. I don't think he needs more. This Tab G vest is interesting because I can take this, the right red, 
and I can add a gold accent across the chest. Very good, very good. Now, there's only one humongous major thing missing from an Iron Man outfit, and that would be the blue glow right there in the chest from his, his, his arc reactor. I don't think we have anything in the totally accurate battle simulator arsenal that can pull off a chest reactor. It sucks. I wish I could do it. I wish I could add a glow right there. But guys, I think that's the one thing, the one thing this Iron Man is going to be missing. Mm, I can give him some shorts to make him a little bit bulkier in the, in the, in the groin. Eh, why not? Why not? We'll just add some, uh, add some shorts. Color them red. Makes them a little bit thicker there in the bottom half. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Iron Man. Comment down below and give me a rating out of 10 as to how well you think we did, keeping in mind that we can't get the chest arc reactor in this game because there is no item in tabs that's remotely close. Now we're gonna move on to the weapons and the first thing we have to give him is the hover because Iron, Iron Man, I mean, if he's not hovering in the sky, what is he? Boom, the hover. Now our boy can fly in the sky. Now I have the perfect idea. Watch this guys, you're really gonna like this. So in his hands, he has his, his, his thrusters and let him fly, but he uses them in an offensive way. I might have found the perfect thing to use for the thrusters. I don't think it was the ghost hands. Where was it? I had the perfect idea. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's going to make a beautiful, beautiful thruster one day. And I just had to find it again. These ghost hands give off a very good thruster vibe. Maybe even using his nanotech. And they're going to be shooting the wizard spell, which is very much a blaster-like attack. Other abilities give him the cannon barrage. Since he is able to launch missiles and things like that, I think the cannon barrage is perfect for him. We'll give him a knight's charge to close the distance. We'll give him a projectile block to deal with ranged attacks. And a teacher's parry to help deal with melee. That's why. So he has some HP. He's not super easy to bring down, but he's also not like a god. So he can die. Size is fine. Weight is fine. Movement speed. He is on thrusters. We'll give it times 10. Attack speed. We'll make that times. Actually, we'll leave attack speed alone. And damage. We'll do a times 100. I want him to actually hit with some oomph because he is Iron Man. And we'll take a pretty little picture of our Iron Man. Oh, he's so handsome. I think he's ready to go. Iron Man is here and he's ready to protect the city. He looks fantastic. Probably one of the coolest looking units we've ever made in the game. Him and Spider-Man are pretty much tied for the most accurate units we've ever done. Again, I wish I could do the chest arc reactor, but that's not possible in this game. Iron Man versus some hoplites. Okay, the cannon barrage might be too much. I was hoping to be more like missiles as opposed to, you know, giant boulders falling from the sky. And I think his rate of fire on his blasters isn't fast enough. We've greatly increased his rate of fire, decreased his attack damage, and removed the barrage. That is way better and way more like Iron Man. The fight we've all been waiting for. Iron Man versus Wolverine. Looks like Wolverine got a little too close to Iron Man there. Wolverine and Spider-Man versus Iron Man and Venom, because why not?
this how the fight's gonna go for the remainder of eternity? Venom and Spider-Man at a distance trying to web each other and completely fail. We're gonna take this wobbler and upgrade him into the Incredible Hulk. There are two ways we can do this Hulk creation. First, we can do normal Hulk, which is challenging enough as it is, but there's also the possibility that we could do the Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, who's got body armor and weapons and is ready to throw down in the arena with Thor. Which one are we gonna do? I don't know. Stick around and find out. Hulk, 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 Hulk. This is going to be a massive challenge. We need to make him huge and bulky and thick. And I have an idea. First, this is gonna sound weird. Stick with me. If I turn this unit into a halfling to start, and then I take the halfling and I double his size. Oh, this might be the Hulk we're looking for, guys. Imagine this unit, but looking like the Hulk because the halfling is shorter in stature and has the broad chest and the short arms and legs, but then you double his size and he might make a phenomenal Hulk. I mean, come on, beats being tall and skinny. How do we Hulkify you? So I had a thought. So I was looking through the, the, the stuff the other day, just making units, you know, fooling around, looking for things to create for a piece of content for a video for you guys. And I came across um, this face. This, this, you guys know the, the nose face, the, 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 the tongue face, right? The tongue face. And I th oh, oh, never mind. That does not look good on a halfling. We're just gonna pass on that, shall we? Okay. Yeah, that was great, great, great conversation. <laughs> that did not work. We need to make this guy thick. We need to make this guy broad and uh, green. And is are any of these clothes gonna fit him properly? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm scared. That might be a problem with our halfling decision is um, trying to find clothes that fit him. Because even a quote unquote skin tight shirt looks like it's trying to swallow our lovely Hulk here. <laughs> How are we going to do this? How do I wrap up the Hulk? Okay, I got to cover the Hulk face. Do I go balaclava and then make the ha? Okay, um, the halfling concept, it's not working. Revert back wobbler and just put him back down to the size of one for now okay um let's try that again let's go back to that mask concept the kabuki mask right if i take the kabuki mask so what i like about it is that he's extremely angry this face right if you zoom in look how look how angry this kabuki is so if i take it and i make the teeth white because you know nice pearly teeth but i make everything else the green of hulk there this could be our hulk face minus the chin wherever i can cover up his beard somehow now we need to start bulking up our hulk i think we should go to the medieval section maybe grab one of these chest plates like this one that's pretty form fitting and color that the green okay all right no 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 what else we got need more torso more he sees the hulk he needs to be huge in the torso i need the bulkiest clothing i can conceivably get my hands on big bulky Billowing clothes. Um, okay, that's that's a bit too much. <laughs> that, that is also a bit too much. You know what he does need? He needs his purple pants. You guys know those purple pants are like torn? I'm pretty sure if I go to the farmer's section that there's torn pants. I've seen torn pants in this game. That like I saw the pants. I'm like, man, those are those are Hulk pants. Where are they? They're like rags. They're like, there's holes in them. Was it pirate pants? Yes, the pirate pants. And then you color those a beautiful, majestic Hulk purple. Fantastic. But how do we do the Hulk bulk? That's a phrase. Hulk bulk. I need more Hulk bulk. Simple little samurai shirt, maybe. And you color it the correct green, adding a bit more Hulk bulk. <laughs> it looks like Hulk bulk. I gotta cover his face. Also, he needs Hulk hair. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like that, that awesome black hair that Hulk has. He's got that crazy hair. Let's do the hair search and find me some Hulk hair. Something like that? Yeah, that could be kind of Hulkish, I think. I don't know. How do I bulk this Hulk? This may have been a mistake, guys. I think we might need that balaclava really quick. Balaclava. Make that the beautiful green. Cover up the rest of his face. That nose is really not doing it for me it's not it's not doing it for me and i don't like it just keep adding shirts keep adding clothes maybe eventually one day i'll make him look kind of <laughs> he's not big enough <laughs> this is so ridiculous guys hmm 
Hmm. Hmm. Take that green. Take that green. Take that green. Ooh, I like how that gives some really heavy shoulders. That's interesting, guys. I like that a lot, 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 lot. Move that. Okay, 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 okay. So I can probably remove this chest plate now too. No, actually, I kind of like that chest plate. <laughs> I might put it back. Hmm, take that one. I like that. Take that. Take that. Like that. Take that. Like, like. Take, take the like. Like the take. Give him some biceps and some shoulders. Now he needs some forearms. I think we're cooking. We're onto something. He's looking kind of hulky. Also, I was just kind of thinking, looking at the face. If I, re I, I just had a thought. I just had a really crazy thought, okay? I need you to stay with me. Okay, remove the hair. I had a thought. This might seem strange, but it might work. Hold on. I need to find it. Grab the potion seller face. Convert that to gr Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're doing Larry Hulk. <laughs> there we go. Cover the middle section. We got the bell, the pants. Now I need to get those the, the legs going. I think it's just gonna take the usual tried and true skeleton suit. Make it all green, just like that. There we go, now he has legs, his hands are covered. It's starting to get there. It's really starting to get there. I think his forearms need a little bit more muscle. Take the samurai wrist guards, color it all green, making it a little bit stronger-ish, kind of, it's not bad. And then maybe the Roman wrist guards take those, make those green as well. There, now his forearms are looking pretty good. Biceps, triceps, shoulders are there. It's a little bit, a little bit too jaggedy between the tops of his shoulders from the armor down to his, his, his shoulder deltoid muscle. So from his traps to his shoulders is too angled. I gotta smooth that out somehow with a piece of clothing of sorts. Oh, what about, what about, what about, if I can find it, I think it's actually a head item. What about, it's over here in the dynasty section, a scarf, dynasty scarf, is that gonna do the smoothing a little bit? Make it green, take a look, see how it looks. That helps, yeah, actually that definitely helped. I could use a little bit more smoothness there from trap to deltoid, but it did a pretty good job not gonna lie actually this ancient scarf might even do a better job yeah that's better much smoother now if i could find a way to make his legs a little bit stronger because hulk is sick in the lower half guys i would however because of the way these pants are i don't know if i can actually add any bulk to the legs without making it look silly because any pan I add of the leg is gonna clip through the purple shorts and the purple shorts are perfect and we don't wanna mess with that. So there's no way to bulk them up without messing up the shorts. If I add the semi armor, that makes them look kinda of stronger. That gives them a bit more of a, a chiseled abs kind of bulky look. <laughs> I really like that a lot. It looks like he has abs. Ladies and gentlemen, I have filled every single clothing slot and layered as many chest pieces as I could to give Hulk the bulk that he deserves. Comment down below and give me a rating out of 10 telling me how well you think we did considering this is tabs and we have limited options. Now it's time for stats. HP. Oh, it's the Hulk. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but Hulk really can't die. <laughs> very little can kill the Hulk. Size. This is going to be very difficult. So Hulk is, is big. He's bigger than Thor. And he's bigger than almost every superhero. I might go with a two times height, but then again, that turns him into this massive giant. Almost seems too much. Let's go 1.6 like that. Weight, I'm just gonna add zeros. I'm just gonna add all the zeros, okay? Movement speed, Hulk can get around. Attack speed, Hulk is fast. And damage, well, you've seen Hulk punch things. Punching things hurts. Speaking about punching things, he must have the giant punch. That just makes the most sense. It's the Hulk, he punch, he smash, he destroy. On top of that, he has to have the giant foot stomp because again, he's Hulk, he smash, he destroy. And he must have the super jump or the mammoth charge and the super jump. Where's that big headbutt? Big headbutt. You know, I kind of want to give him a shout. I mean, all the times we've seen Hulk just scream at things, but it, his Hulk shout never knocked anything back. Okay, we'll pass on the shout for now. Enrage, enrage. Wait, what was I thinking? Why would I do anything else? Enrage, it's obvious. A charge, a stomp, a jump, a headbutt, and an enrage, and punches. It's, it's Hulk. It's perfectly Hulk. Take a picture of our lovely Hulk. Oh, he's not angry enough to be Hulk, but it's pretty good. Like that fantastic Hulk looking good. Oh, oh my God. Um, uh, 800, 
840,000, 2,330,840,800 points. My God. Here is our Hulk. Look at him. He is phenomenal. He actually turned out way better than I expected. Considering this is tabs and you can't physically adjust their, their height and their weight, he looks amazing. And by the height and the weight, I mean like the muzzle thickness. You know what I mean? Now the Hulk has a fight on his hands. We have Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Deadpool. All five of them versus the Hulk, who looks terrible at this distance and much better when you get closer. <laughs> Hulk has ridden himself into the water and now drowned. We're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into Thor. And we're not just talking any old Thor. No, 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 no. We're going to upgrade him specifically into the Thor from Endgame. You know the one with the epic beard, a little bit of a bot belly, wielding Mjolnir and Stormbreaker? Yeah, that's the one we're going to make. That one right there. So one of the first things you're going to notice about the Endgame Thor is A, he's dressed head to toe in very dark armor. B, he is Stormbreaker, and C, he's rocking this luscious hair and this beautiful beard. And I am very excited to tell you that this beard is located in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Is located? Is found? Exists? You know what I mean? It, it's in here. We can have it. Just going to do a search of beard and take a look. If you scroll up, not up here. It's just all the way down. It's down here. You got this beard and this beard right here this is the thor beard and it is wonderful it's braided it is tied off it's fantastic his mustache is all there just gotta take it and give it that beautiful blonde color something like that not not like bright yellow but kind of like that fantastic and the tie on the images is dark so we're just gonna grab some black here and tie it off but that's not quite right I mean, the bottom looks good, but the top kind of looks a little bit iffy. So we're gonna work on that. Thor does still have those luscious locks. So if we take this hair, make it the correct color, take this green, make it the correct color, that, that right there is starting to look like the Thor hair and beard. That is fantastic. <laughs> it took two pieces of hair, but we pulled it off. So there are two key pieces here that we have to remember. He is wearing his red cloak and black armor. And we have a very easy way to do that. Go over here to the Roman chest armor. The red cloak is beautiful. Just gotta take it and color it a nice dark red. And then this part needs to be colored black. I might go with the dark gray, just so you can see the, hello, dark gray. Just so you can see the definition in there. That is very close to the Thor armor. Looking good, looking good. Very much like the Son of Thunder. Son of Thunder? Lord of Thunder? Son of Odin? You know what I mean. Legs. He needs to have some black pants with some of these knee shin guards. Actually, I know where the I know the knee shin guards. Go to the, uh, the military. The, the military. The medieval. I uh, think it's actually in boots, footwear, medieval. These ones. Right there. Look. That's exactly, exactly like the image. That's fantastic. But it needs to be colored the beautiful dark gray that we're going for right here. Wonderful. Even the straps. With the straps is in color. Perfect. That's actually amazing. And he needs another set of boots. Some armor plated boots. Actually, these archer boots are pretty good. I mean, I could go with the medieval boots, right? Double down on the medieval look. Take that. Color it the gray. Uh, I mean, he does have the shin guards. 
I kind of like, to be honest. I kind of really like that a lot. Kind of really, really like that. I mean, we could do the medieval calf armor or we could do those archer boots, right? The archer leather, take the leather, color it the correct color like this. Actually, I like that even better. That's that's even better. That's perfect. Good, uh, look at Thor. He's got his chest plate, he's got his boots and he's not rocking any pants. <laughs> uh, poor Thor. All right, Thor, let's find you some pants so you're not naked from the waist down, shall we? Something wonderful. According to the image, it looks kind of like a, a leather pant with, with stripes of a, a banded leather on it. Strips, stripes. English is hard. But how do we replicate that? I, mean, I could just take any old regular pants. But a lot of these pants don't quite make the cut. They're too long. They're too short. Those aren't bad. Those aren't bad. And they seem to be sitting in the boot fairly well. That's actually really nice. That's actually really, really nice. His pants are really good. And now the biceps. Look, look, look at the biceps on Thor. Like, come on. How, how do I make that happen? How do we give him chain mail arms? You can't. They don't exist. There's no chain mail in this game. Here I am in the medieval section and there's no way to give him chain mail. Look, I, I can give him a bit of a belly, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Because he is Fat Thor. Right? He's technically Fat Thor. I can make him, I can give him a bit of a belly. I mean, this is technically correct. <laughs> Hold on, this 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 other armor is off color. It's, it's the wrong color now, right? I'm just gonna make that the correct color. There we go. No, no. That silly little glitch. Look, when you test unit, it's better. What do you guys think? Do we do it? Do we go with the technically correct belly Thor? Or do we go with the really good looking trim and slim Thor? <laughs> I did say this was endgame, right? Well, it is endgame. So, Thor, you've got a bit of a belly there, bud. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, now we gotta cover his arms. Been talking about the arms the whole time. We gotta cover them. Something, a short, a long sleeve shirt that doesn't go too far down the torso. Just try the medieval shirt. Just slap it down. See how it looks. Uh, it's not bad. 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 There we go. The tab G shirt. It's short in the torso, long in the arms. Exactly what I'm looking for. There you go, much better. No more weird frilly stuff down by the groin area. <laughs> Thor is rocking some leather wrist guards. Leather wrist guards. I can do that no problem. These ones aren't bad. They're not quite bulky enough though. Leather wrist guards, leather wrist guards. Like these are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those are not bad, but it's not quite right. These are closer to what he's wearing. And so are these, these right here. These right here are literally exactly what he's wearing, but the problem is they're hiding inside the model of the shirt. Like for example, I'm gonna remove the shirt. Look, those wrist wraps, that's exactly what Thor's wearing on his wrists, but he's not wearing a shirt. Unless I can find something skin tight. Oh, we got some skin tight clothes. We got some skin tight clothes. Let me just try the uh, skeleton. Oh no, the skeleton suit's not skin tight enough. Look, it's not skin tight enough. You still can't see the leather. Ah, uh, those wraps are perfect, but he has to wear a shirt. Put the Tab G shirt back on him. The leather's underneath. Ah, that's too bad. Then we need to go with straps that will show up over top. And the Roman armlets, which are technically snakes, definitely show up over top. And you can see the wrist wraps just like in the picture. Perfect. We're gonna go with that for now. Not wearing gloves. So no gloves for his hands. Not wearing anything on his head. No bulky shoulders, guys. I think this is the physical appearance of of of, of Thor. I sold said Hulk. Of Thor. <laughs> but he needs his weapons. Oh, oh, I just had an idea. You guys know the scene when Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man are about to confront Thanos in Endgame. And Thor calls on his weapons and his eyes turn to thunder. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to give Thor thunder eyes. Look at that thunder eyes and now we just have to give him two things he needs two things in his left hand his off hand he's gonna put the lighter weapon and that's thor's hammer though something's wrong with thor's hammer the coloring is off this isn't blue this is more of a dark brown and the wood is also a dark brown there we go now it's starting to look a little bit more like thor's hammer from the movies and then in the right hand he needs a battle axe of sorts now what's the best battle axe to put in his right hand is it the berserker axe because we gotta try and make it look as close to stormbreaker as possible it won't be exact we don't have the exact model so far the berserker axe is pretty good it's not too long the blade looks really close honestly Looking through all the options, I think the Berserker Axe 
is the best point. It's the best one. The blade is the wrong color though. This blade needs to be a silver, right? Bright, bright, bright silver. Gosh, I might make the main part of the blade just one step darker so you can see the edge being a gleaming silver. Fantastic. That is much closer to Stormbreaker. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our fat end game Thor. Comment down below and give me a rating out of 10 to tell me how well you think we did creating this overweight Endgame Thor. I think we did a pretty good job, to be honest. Now for the abilities. The weapons are done. We'll go with the abilities. We'll give him Thor's lightning for I mean, obvious reasons, so I have to like explain that any further. Thor's lightning. We will give him lightning deflect. Again, common sense. Makes sense. Fits his character. Also give him a berserker's jump, because you've seen him make humongous leaps in the movies. We will give him the Knight's Charge so he can close in the battle even further. And then from there, a big headbutt because I have seen Thor drop the headbutts. Stats wise, we'll give him a couple thousand HP like that. 10,000, 100,000, 100,000. He's a bit of a god. Size is fine. Weight will make him uh, fairly heavy. Movement speed will increase it by 10 just so he can boot around. Attack speed, increase that a bunch. And then damage, increase that a bunch as well. Take a lovely picture of our God of Thunder. Fantastic. I was thinking for a spin. Here is our end game Thor. I love how he looks. I think he is fantastic. Obviously, I wish I could make Stormbreaker even better and more accurate to the movie, but sadly, I think this is the best we could ever do given all the tools we have here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And now we're going to do one of my favorite fights from all of the movies, and that fight is Thor <laughs> versus the incredible Larry Hulk. Um, Thor just leapt off the but but what why did Thor do that we're gonna take this wobbler and upgrade him into Captain America could you guys please stop spamming me non-stop for Captain America we're doing it we're doing it today it's happening oh and by the way I've uploaded even more of my creations to the workshop just search my name don't forget and I've uploaded even more new videos to the Mr. Krojak Fights YouTube channel click the card above that appears right now or click the link in the description and check out the new channel seriously the fights are really really cool <laughs> I mean look at those minotaurs that's amazing Captain America Captain America Endgame Captain America, because that's what I want to make. I want to make the one from Endgame with the broken shield and the Mjolnir, which shouldn't be too hard because right here, I have a shield with a missing piece out of it. And then obviously over here, I've got Mjolnir hiding somewhere. Down here somewhere, Mjolnir. There it is, Mjolnir. We're going to make a wonderful Endgame Captain America. But let's remove these for now so we can focus on the clothes. First things first, I need to make a decision. Helmet? or no helmet. Part of me wants to go with like the, the free flowing hair, the luscious locks of Captain America. And I'm thinking that's the direction we're going to go. I just need to find the right kind of hair for Cap. Oh, that, 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 that one right there. Look, 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 look. Yes, that's the Captain America hair right there. Fantastic. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to cover Captain America from head to toe with the blue suit because you don't want any parts of his skin exposed because Cap's wearing a skin tight suit because again, superheroes wear skin tight suits. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Skin tight suits for superheroes. And that's how we roll. What we're trying to do here, guys, is trying to do the red, white, and blue. 
Captain America is the red, white, and blue. And we need a way to do the star on the chest. And there's a, a way to kind of do it, but it's not quite. And that would be this body armor right here where you make the body armor blue because it melts in. And then you take the cross and you make it white. This could be the symbol on the Captain America chest. But I want to I wanna take it a step further. I mean, this is Endgame. He's in a battle. I want to give him more armor and I don't want the cross per se. So what I was thinking, and you have to bear with me because this is tabs. This isn't Marvel. So we have to get close, but make it tab style. And that's going to be a military grade body armor with the proper coloring. So the tab G vest is one of my favorites because it fits over top of everything nicely and doesn't clip. You take this portion here. What if we color this the dark blue? Take this portion, we color it the white. Take this portion, color it the red. And now we're starting to get the red, white, and blue theme for Captain America. Looking at the pictures, Captain America also has like gauntlets and, and boots and, and belts and all sorts of things like that. So we're gonna need to get the utility belt. <laughs> the, the Batman utility belt, the, the farmer's belt farm. There it is, farmer's belt. Problem is it's kind of hidden under there, but you can kind of see it in March. So I'm gonna keep it in there and I'm gonna change the coloring to a darker brown because Cap seems to be rocking more of the darker brown when it comes to his leather pieces and his gloves, his boots and stuff like that. And I'm not sold on that as the only belt. This is a little book, look, look at this, look at this. That's fantastic. It's a beautiful belt. Guys, comment down below, what do you think? This belt looks really, really good. Take it, you make a nice dark brown. This portion here, a lighter brown. Fan, that's, that's, that's great for Cap. Boots and gloves, boots and gloves for Captain America. We go to the gloves. We could do the Will Not the Science Guy gloves these ones, but it's just, they're boring. I want to do something kind of different. We can do, ooh, interesting. What if I take this and instead of the metal, we turn the metal into the same dark leather as the belt, but maybe a lighter strap. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of looks like the gloves on Captain America. That's not too bad. Now boots, 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 boots. Yeah, um, there's a problem. Let me just zoom in nice and tight to the feet here for you guys. We're wearing um the the, the, the spandex, remember? The, the leggings, the full body suit. And because of that, it's gonna be some massive crazy clipping going on with the monster feet. Crazy clipping. How am I gonna find boots that don't clip? I mean, the leg warmer's not bad, but the, the knee shin guards, maybe. I mean, Captain America is often wearing boots that go up to the knee with knee pads. So maybe the knight knee armor could work or the medieval calf armor. These could work. Boots, those boots clip. These boots clip. All of these boots clip. There's got to be something, something that doesn't clip. And holiday shoes? Wait a minute. Wait, are these not clipping? Guys, those, those boots aren't clipping. <laughs> The only problem with these is that they don't go up to the knee. So what if we do go with the knee pad deal? Shin guards. If I color them the brown, I don't know about the brown part, but if we're going to see the correct color of brown with a slightly lighter strap. Eh, not sold on the knee parts. I might just go with the boots and leave the knee part out of it. However, he does need pants and I need a half decent pair of pants with knee pads because Cap has the knee pads in a lot of his things. So we're going to go with one of these with the knee pads right here. Red ones. Yep. Take the red pants, make them the proper dark blue. The knee pads are also dark blue. They don't stand out, which I think is a bit strange. Oopsies. I think it's a really bit strange, but hey, we're, we're not here to argue. We're just here to create pants and <laughs> make a Captain America. There, knee pads. He does have the white in the torso, much like Captain America. The cross is there. We can't do the, the chest star, but that's okay. Now, Cap's got some shoulder armor. We need shoulder armor. We can do that. That's super easy. We know the exact piece. It's the medieval tight to the shoulders shoulder pad. Take that, color it the beautiful dark blue with a little bit of that there white accent for Captain America. Fantastic. Now, what I could do, guys, to make this more like the picture and less flashy, is I could make the accents brown, right? That's very boring. It's very, very, very boring, right? But it might be more accurate, which again, it's it's not cool. It's not cool at all. But 
it, it's more accurate to the picture. But then you lose the white in the you lose the white in the middle, the white in the belly. I like that white. We're gonna go with the white. This is a totally accurate battle simulator, okay? And totally accurate does not necessarily mean 100% accurate. It just means totally accurate, which is not accurate at all. I like how that looks better. It just looks cooler. We've got our pants and knee pads. We've got our boots. We've got our belts. We've got our gloves. These are looking really, really good. In fact, I might do the Will Knight of the Science Guy gloves still on top of the, the bracers just to cover those hands a bit better and make them a proper color. The proper dark brown. There we go. That's even better now. And I'm loving the Captain America helmet. Let's look. That's fantastic. Let's give Cap the broken shield and Mjolnir, just like this picture, because this picture is gorgeous. And give Cap Mjolnir in his right hand all the way down. Smack the Mjolnir right there. And then in his left hand, we're going to give him the Captain America shield that's broken. Remember, though, I can't make the Captain America uh, rings of color. All you can do is make as close as possible. The middle of Cap's shield is blue. So we'll make this blue. This is a lighter blue. We'll go there. And then the next ring is red. And then the outer ring is white. And then after that is red. So I might do this portion as the white. And then the outer ring as the red. And that's about as close as we can get to Captain America's shield here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Ladies and gentlemen, comment down below and give me a score out of 10 to tell me how well we made Captain America from Endgame here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I think this is probably one of the closest, most accurate creations we've ever made in the game. But tell me what you think. Give me that rating out of 10. Now for the abilities, we're going to go and we're going to grab the lightning bolt. That's the first one. That's the obvious one. He can summon Thor's lightning and smote uh, Thanos with it. He really did. He smacked him. And because of Mjolnir, we're also going to give him the lightning projectile blocks. I feel like Mjolnir is going to help prevent and protect Captain America from projectiles. After that, we'll do a Teacher's Parry because he is adept at melee combat. We're also going to do a Knight's Charge to close the distance because it is Cap and he charges into battle headlong. And finally, I'm going to give him the Super Boxer Punch because that kind of makes sense for Captain America, not going to lie. That's why we'll give him some HP, but nothing too crazy. He's still mortal. Size is fine. Weight will make him a little bit stronger to wield Mjolnir like that. Movement speed will make him a little bit quicker because he is a super soldier. Attack speed will increase that a little bit. And then damage will increase that a fair amount. Take a lovely picture of our lovely Cap. I was thinking for a spin. Here is Captain America in all of his glory. I actually really like the outfit. I love the hair. Mjolnir and his shield are looking fantastic. Again, I wish we can do the proper shield, the official Captain Shield, but that's not in this game. We're making do with what we have, and now he needs to fight. And what better opponent for Captain America than Iron Man? Oh, Captain America smoke down Iron Man. And this is where we're ending today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more content, click the links on the screen and watch more awesome videos. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.